All right, Shalom, Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Makakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. I want to send salutations to the brothers, the Akim, all over the four corners of the globe preaching this truth with all sincerity and faith. And now I just got a real quick, quick, quick hit. Um, just going in on, you know, the things that, you know, we're seeing around us and it's prophecy being fulfilled. And one of the prophecies being fulfilled is uh, World War Three, man, because we, we are very close to a war breaking out. And it's been wars and rumors of wars like it's been spoken of in the scriptures. And who causes all these things? If you don't know, a hey, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, he causes all these things, man. This is his, this is his thing. And he and, and the Lord is a man of war. The, the uh despite what a lot of you you Christians think, the Lord is not just all love and just chilling, man, in peace. No, the Lord is a man of war. Every war that's been fought on this earth has been uh, of the Lord, directed by the Lord, Yahweh Bashan Yahweh Shah, because he is a man, of, a man of war. And I'm going to get that scripture to prove it, man, because you guys think that Yahweh Bashan Yahweh Shah just some soft cookie, but he ain't, man. He's an austere man. And he's angry with the wicked every day. And he's getting ready to make his return during World War Three, And he's going to have war with the, with the dragon, which is this, this system we in. You, uh, you Edomites and your militaries and those that's going to follow you and join you and try, try to take the Lord our power down. And you're going to be defeated miserably. But um, let me get this scripture real quick. This is Exodus 15 and 3. And it reads, the Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. Hey, that's a plain and simple scripture. No need for a, a, a deep breakdown for that. Hey, it reads, the Lord is the man of war. And when you say the Lord, when you see the Lord in all caps, you know you're talking about Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, the Father. And he is a man of war. The Adawan is his name. For you, uh, for you, for you, uh, you know, you Israelites that, and you Christians that think that the Lord is just, like I said, a soft cookie, man. You see what he did to the to the Pharaoh and his chariots, man, for Israel, for Israel, sake to the, to to escape their captivity. He destroyed them, man. That's the type of power that we got on our side that you uh, so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans don't want to admonish and 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 um and reverence, man, and give. The Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahushua, all the praise and glory for everything that's going on in your life. You think you you what it is, you didn't you didn't um follow the heathen ways, so you know you don't have no collect you don't have no connection with the most high power, Yahweh Bashem Yahushua. You don't believe in his truth. You don't believe in the words of these scriptures, man, that was written for you and for you only. But you're going to know, man, that the Lord, he don't play. And he's coming back. And he's going to destroy a lot of you. A lot of you, uh, you Israelites and the rest of you heathens. Let me get another scripture. This is Proverbs 21 and 1. And it reads, the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord as the rivers of water. He turned it with soever he will. Meaning what? Hey, what we do is, uh, is of the Lord. The Lord, he programs us to do what we do. And who are the kings? The rulers of this earth right now. 
mainly you Edomites, um, starting with you uh, Amalekites. You know, y'all the one that's controlling everything. Y'all the kings of this earth. And he, let me read that again. It's Proverbs 21 and 1. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. As the rivers of water, he turneth it whithsoever he will. I mean, he makes them do what he wants them to do. And he, and as you see with the, the, what's going on in Israel, with Palestine, and all these countries that's over there um, going through that turmoil right now, that's of the Lord. The Lord does these things. He makes these men war the way they do. And it's going to be one more woe that's coming. But that's going to be with fuel and fire, as it reads in Isaiah. And this place is going to be burnt to a crisp after the war in heaven, after, after the war takes place in heaven. And, and our, our Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh destroys Esau and his, his, his angels. But I got the scripture to say, you know, everything that you see men do, Hey, that's this is controlled by the most high power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So when these men are going back and forth talking about war and war being stirred up, that's because the Lord authorized that. He put it in their hearts to, to do this. Because why? Because he is a man of war. The Lord is a man of war. He's balanced. He give you peace and he give you war. As a matter of fact, let me get that real quick. I ain't going to read the, the whole set. I'm going to start at eight. As a matter of fact, I am going to read the whole thing. This is Ecclesiastes and one. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. It's a time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down, a time to build up. It's a time to weep and it's, time, it's a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together. It's a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. It's a time to get and a time to lose. It's a time to keep and a time to cast away. It's a time to rend and a time to sow. It's a time to keep silence and it's a time to speak. And I'm coming down to what I wanted. It's a time to love and a time to hate. You hear that? It's a time to love and hate. Because the Lord is a balanced power, man. He in all love. And it's a time of war and a time of peace. And that's what the Lord does, man. He's a balanced power. He brings peace in certain times and other times he brings war. Because as I read in Exodus 15 and 3, he is a man of war. The Lord is a man of war, man. For you, uh, you, you uh, uh, pork chop pastors and you Christians out there that don't know this, the Lord is not all love like you like to preach in these um, harlot houses. You in there leading your sheep astray, letting them know that the Lord love, 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 love. It don't matter what you do, he still love you. No. Because the Lord is not a false balance. Let me get another scripture and I'm going to wrap this up, man. Because see, y'all y'all just don't understand, man. The Lord, he does everything. He, he, he heals and he kills, man. He put it in man to do these things. Whatever role you playing on this earth right now 
is of the Lord because man's goings is of the Lord, which is one of my favorite scriptures. Because you think you think that you have free will to do what you want. No. We in his program. And his program is going to continue the way he wants it to go. So with that being said, you know, everybody thinking the Lord just is just um, all love and peace. No, it's a balance. He's a man of peace and it's, he's a man of war. As it just read, man. It's a time for peace and a time for war. And he brings these, brings these things about. I'm going to get another scripture to prove that. You don't do what you want. This is uh, Zephaniah 3 and 8. And, this is, and it reads, Therefore wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prey. He wants to do it. For my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour out my, to pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger. For all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. And this is an end time prophecy that's getting ready to come about for World War Three. He's going to gather the nations together for war. He is going to do it. You just read it. I just read it to you. He's going to gather the nations together and, and assemble them together to pour out his, his, his righteous anger against all these armies of the earth. And all these armies of the earth are going to be destroyed in this last, in this last battle in World War III. He's going to devour them with the fire of his jealousy. Like it reads. This prophecy is going to take place very soon. Just backing up what I'm saying. That the Lord is a man of war. And he's not a false balance man. He's a balanced power. He's a balanced God. For you. You Christians. You don't just do what the hell you want to do and then go to go to your Harlot house on Sunday and think that it's all good, man. It's a balance. You got to be punished for the things that you do. Meaning, meaning, just meaning to say that the Lord is a balance, man. He's not, he's not just all peace. He likes war. Every, like I said uh, earlier, man, every war that's been on this earth has been um, been of the most high power, Yahweh Shah. He's been behind it all. I just read for you that he moved, he, he turned the king's heart, which, which so ever he will, man. He get in the king's mind and he tells them, what to do, man. It's, this is his program, man. We in a movie. We in his movie. Whether you want to believe it or not. And I'm just getting one more scripture. I'm going to wrap it up, man. Because this is proving that the Lord does all things, man. This is Isaiah 45 and 7. And it reads, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil, which evil just mean bad times. And what can make bad times? War. If we was attacked right now uh, from another from another country, and we was being uh, bombs being dropped over here on us, like it is in other countries right now. You know, those would be bad times for us, man. It won't be a peaceful time. That'll be bad times that the Lord creates. And I'm going to continue to read. Matter of fact, I'm going to start back from the top. This is Isaiah 45 and 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, do all these things. Case in point. 
him being a man of war, man. He do all things. He do all these things. He creates these wars because he's a man of war. And he's letting you peon Edomites think that you're going to be able to stand a chance against them with your technology that he gives you. He gives you the technology. But you, you, you know, you devils are so prideful. You think it, it's all of you. It's all of your mind. It's all of your brilliance. But no, it's just a, you devils working on the left-hand side of the Lord, calling on the darkness, the darkness that the Most High, Yahweh Bashem Shah creates. That left-hand side of angels that you go and you chant to to try to get answers for things, but not knowing that the Lord... He created that too. The Lord does all things, evil and good. That's what you Christians don't, don't want to believe. You think it's just of Satan to do his own will. No, the Lord is the Lord sends Satan out to do do his will, to do his bidding. The, uh, the Satan works for the most high power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. He don't just do what he want to do. But I'm not going to go into all that. I just want to uh, just bring out a couple of scriptures proving the, you know, the power of our, uh, the power of um, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. The power you Israelites want to deny, man. He's your, your power, none else. But you don't want that. I do. But this was, this was just a little quick hit just to prove that, hey, man, the Lord is a man of war. He's not a man of, of just love and peace. He's going to give us that, though. He's going to give the Israelites that. He's going to finally give us peace. In this near future, man, when he makes his return and set up his righteous kingdom, he's going to give us peace because we have caught hell from, hey, from the beginning of time, man. We've been catching hell. It's been it's been a long time, man. And it's and it's, and, hey, it's been a long time coming for us to get this 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 peace where he's going to wipe every tear away from our cheek. And he's going to set us in our own land. And nobody's going to make Jacob afraid again. Nobody's going to make us afraid ever again, man. That's what we look for and hope for. But before then, the Lord, the man of war, he's coming back for war in the coming future in World War III. And then we'll have this peace that we so long look for, that, that we so long for. We long for that peace, man. The truth, the, the brothers that really believe in this truth. We ready for our kingdom to come in, to be ushered in through Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. But with that, man, I'm gonna give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. I wanna give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. I wanna send salutations to the Akim across the four corners of the globe, preaching this truth with all sincerity and faith. Shalom and a Baba Ball.